Hey everybody, and welcome back. So this is part two of me making a website or an application, I should say, with you live, not live, pre-recorded, but mostly unedited. Blah, 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 blah. I'm just kind of showing you my train of thought here as we make this fun little website. If you want some more context, check out the previous videos. But for now, let's just keep going. Uh, the, where I left you off, faithful viewers, was promising not to buy a top level domain name for this application. And I folded <laughs> immediately uh, right before finishing the last video. Actually, sorry, right after finishing the last video, I spent $10 and bought the domain xdayssince.com. I was too nervous that someone would play a joke, a very mean joke on me out there and buy the domain and then just confuse me on what to rename it. So I figured I'd just spend $10 for Serenity and I bought it, uh, which means that I should put the domain to use immediately because I'm spending money for it. I hate putting money to waste. So I figured I'd kind of just show you how I can kind of get this website online real fast because it's what I'd be doing anyways. So let's do it together. You already saw me push up the repo. It exists. It's public. No one's watching it yet. All by my slate. I have one star. Oh, wow. Hey, hello. Nice of you to be a star. You haven't even seen these videos yet. They haven't posted them yet when I'm recording them. That's awesome, though. Um, I'm going to use Vercel for hosting because they make Next.js. So I'm going to be using that, my two existing projects. But let's make a new project here. Um, I love the Vercel uh, integrator. Uh, Xday Sense is what I want to import here. Um, import. I find Vercel just stupid simple, especially when you're using Next.js. It just, it just works um, too easy to not use, especially when you push things up. It's just too easy. So I want to import it in my personal space. Project name is X Day Sense Framework. Everything is the default. I'm not doing anything special. It's a default Next.js project. Let's import it in and deploy it. And I think that's going to be it. Uh, this is all live. So I'm waiting just like you. Oh, down here, things were happening. <laughs> I didn't know. Um, I guess it doesn't show me anything until it's done doing the initial deploy. Let's skip ahead. This is boring. Hey, look at that. It shows a preview of it. That's pretty neat. That's a nice little trick. Uh, I can visit the website X days since. It's the same thing as my local host, as you'd expect. Um, and I can open the dashboard. And I want to put this domain to use. So how do I do that? Let us see with settings, domains, Let's add a domain, xdaysince.com. Let's add it in. Add, yes, that sounds good. Okay. And I have to set up the DNS record. And I think this is what I want to do with the, I'm using, um, ooh, they have templates, that's cool. I'm using Namecheap as my DNS host, but I'm just changing the actual record to just go to, I want a uh, record, an A record, type A, uh, I guess that's the name of the host, and the value is this, I don't know. Who knows how these things work? I am not a DNS expert. The thing that's most annoying about DNS is that it takes some time for things to work. Uh, let's refresh this one. Hey, that one works. And now let's make a C name so that www works as well. C name, I think is a alias. I would love one day to actually learn these things, but more often than not, I don't have to think about them that much because I am not a SRE. So I just do the plug and play as I am told. Um, it hasn't refreshed yet. Do, 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 and it's working, which means that this, as soon as my, D oh, it already works. Look at that, xdaysense.com. What a joy. So that's a fun little video. Nothing to commit here. It's all on the SRE side. 
Actually, that's a fun topic for a video I should do one day. Talking to an SRE. What is an SRE? Because it's a site reliability engineer. They do things like this with DNS, but a lot of other things that are just magic to me. But it's an uh, integral part of most websites that's important to have. So yeah, quick little video. The domain's working. I cheated and I said I wouldn't buy the domain, but I did. Let's actually update here so that people can actually link to it real easy. This is impossible to look at in this limited view. Here we go. Let's edit the website to this. So now people can link to it real easy and see what's going on. That's the video. That's it. Short, sweet, made a domain. Hopefully you enjoyed that treat. That's a rhyme. Thank you for your time. I'll see you next time when the nick of time. Yeah.